It's nearly impossible to find the fry up in Berlin. I think we're the only ones that do the, the full fry breakfast. My name's Graham Rind and I'm the chef at Das Gift um, in Neukölln. Here, of course, we do a full Scottish breakfast, which varies slightly from the traditional English breakfast. But, you know, in my opinion, as a Scot, is definitely the better version. <laughs> of all the ingredients in the fried breakfast list, it's the one that people are most sentimental about. It's not until you come to live in another country that you realise, oh, this is like super specific to our culture. It makes you feel really good and it, and it, it sort of, it stops you from getting homesick in any way. You know, it's, the, it's also the thing that I personally, as like the chef, it, like it's always the one that I'm like, okay, I'll do myself some bacon. Square sausage is sometimes also called Lauren sausage. It's made with beef. Um, and is spiced with nutmeg and black pepper. You can't find this in Germany or Berlin, but you can make your own. There are a couple of really good recipes from like the early 20th century, which are great that you can find online. If you can't be bothered going through the process of making the square sausage, then bratwurst works really, really well as a replacement. Black pudding literally translates as bloodwurst. Every country in Europe has their own version. The difference between our black pudding and the German bloodwurst is ours has a much higher fat content and is always cooked fried. We use Stornoway black pudding. It can only be made in Stornoway, which is on the Isle of Lewis, a small island off the west coast of Scotland. I almost always fry the black pudding first because the fat renders out and it, it sort of makes everything taste more delicious afterwards. Uh, haggis is a Scottish uh, national dish. It is eaten every single year on Burns Night, which is a celebration of our national poet. The two main ingredients for it is actually the sheep, lung and oats. We use McSween's haggis, which is the gold standard of like haggis. After all the, the sort of meats and sausages and haggis and things like that, you need to have the carbohydrate. In an English fry breakfast, people will almost always have the hash brown. We replace it with the tatty scone. What it's made with is mashed potato and flour is added, a little bit of raisin agent. It's cooked twice, first dry fried and then fried in deep oil. There are also like tomatoes, fried mushrooms, uh, Heinz baked beans. No fried breakfast is complete without the fried egg. There's only one way to cook a fried egg in my opinion. Um, you have to cook it on the absolute lowest heat you can get it down to. Cook it in deep oil because otherwise the bottom will burn before the top is cooked off. And that way you get like a perfectly runny yolk and a perfectly cooked white the whole way through. So. Holding tight, let the moon slowly take over on the night. The skies has never been clearer than.